there is a place called Eden that seemingly is only accessible by boat or a trek through the jungle. I am going to try to prove that wrong today. I feel like there is a way I can make that through on a scooter. Yep. This here is my mode of transport, the 125cc Yamaha Filano. <laughs> Check out those tiny little wheels. Let's see how we go. It's going to be an adventure. I can assure you of that. Let's roll. Okay, so I do not really have much of a plan. All I have is the map, and the map makes it look like there is potential to get down this road that will just turn into dirt, possibly very eroded. But let's, have, let's bring out the map now and have a look at where I'm trying to get to. So as you can see, there is definitely a path getting through here, right? So you can make your way down. I can clearly follow the road and there is some farms there. There is what looks like an abandoned something, an abandoned resort or some sort of thing. But the main thing that is gonna stand in my way is the erosion and the steepness of the hills. So that is my challenge. I feel like I can get to this Eden bar. <laughs> and if I can, well, that goes against what everybody else has been saying. Everybody has been telling me the only way you can get there is by paying by a boat or walking through the jungle. So I am here to prove that wrong. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be worth anybody going through um, this amount of mess <laughs> and effort to save themselves $10 boat trip, but I'm down for the adventure, so away we go. Whee! First bit of off-roading. Now I have been along this road before. There is a video where I visited this airport that they've cut out of the jungle. Go and check that one out. But this road as it is, I would say would already limit 80% uh, of people to not being able to come along here. So having been along here already, already pretty steep. It's, um, I know I can get along this bit, but oof, getting down to that bar along those unknown roads, that is going to be the trick. Anyway, what a beautiful jungle to be in. Let's roll. Look at this erosion. Woo. If it stays like this, it's all right. I can get through. If it's steeper and worse, oh, we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> Go little scooter. Go! Yay! Oh, what a beast! All right, just passing back past that airport that I mentioned. So I did a video and went down and explored this place in there where they've they've just carved out what was meant to be. I don't know about an international airport, but a, an airport into the middle of the jungle. Just a ecological disaster. Oh, horrible, but if you haven't seen that video, go and check that one out. But we are going that way. Hee <laughs> hee, so cute. Let's go. Okay, well, it hasn't taken long to make it to the end of the road, but there are freshish tracks through here. So that is a tentatively positive sign. Important little foot cleaning stop, and away we go. What a gorgeous jungle, eh? Uh, if only you could smell the smells. Oh. It's so lovely to be in a cool spot out of that sun. Oh, so lush. Hey. <laughs> Bouncy. Come on, little thing. You got it. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so beautiful. Not a soul. Oh, yeah. That's what. Kind of the road I was worried about just totally disappearing. First bit of a challenge, steep hill, full of ruts. Let's pick the right hand side. Let's go. Go, let's go, go. Switching sides, oh. Oh, yeah. I'm walking it. 
Thanks, Liberty. The problem is that it's just such slippery. <laughs> Gravel. That chicken here. <laughs> Alright, well if that's the main set of obstacles, I can deal with that. Oh, that's slippery. Whee! What a sound. Absolutely bonkers. Jungle level. That's what that is. Okay, well, recommended 4x4 four four only. I see your sign. I choose to ignore it. Okay, stay pill ahead. They put another sign there as a double warning. <laughs> Ah, it's just whether I... I mean, I can get down there. Getting up, though, that'll be more fun on the way back. But, looks like we're going. Ooh, slippery. Slow and steady. Controlled slide. <laughs> okay, coming up this, I just have to myself for quite a lot of uphill pushing. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Get out of the hole. There we go. And the back wheel too. Come on you bastard. Ooh, I feel it slipping. <laughs> no, we're all good. No, we're not. Yeah, we're good. No, we're not. <laughs> Easy does it, girl. This is what you were made for. <laughs> so I feel like I might need to go this way eventually. But this is to another place called Lost Paradise, which I also feel is a big party here on the island. I'm not a big partier, which is why I'm coming out to these places in the middle of the day. Ah, but let's go and see if we can at least check out Lost Paradise if we can't get to Eden, right? That'll be some kind of outcome. This is going to be quite an experience coming up. <laughs> Hopefully it won't seem as steep, but as it is, ooh, I'm going to be pushing this thing up the hill. Fingers crossed. It's going to be worth it. I can see something over there. Close. Very close. Gee. There's definitely been some cars coming through here, but I would be hard pressed to imagine that there's many people that have attempted this on a scooter, that's for sure. Oh, but we have arrived to something. Alright, well, welcome to Lost Paradise. Which I don't quite understand. There must be a bar that just no bungalows. There's something going on here, that's for sure. But there is nobody here. Oh, oh that feels so nice. Happy footsies. Woo-wee! Well, if the result of going 4 by 4 ing <laughs> on a little 120cc scooter is that I get to come to this 
It really does feel like a bit like a lost paradise. And hanging out here all by myself, ah, oh, I will do that any day of the week. Now we have a building up there. We're going looking. Okay, well, this is the entrance way. I didn't quite finish building the steps, I guess. Oh. So funny, um, in a little while, since it was worked on, that's for sure, but what a shame, because it would have been cool. Oh, damn. What a balcony. Holy. Whoever didn't finish this, I would be very disappointed. Could have been a hell of a spot. Looks like we had someone sort of semi squatting or some kind of party in here. There is no access to the next level, which is very strange. I'm assuming it was this. <laughs> this was the access upstairs. No longer. Oh. What a bummer. And I think that there's a whole lot more buildings over there. So let's go check them out. Right, so I'm guessing this is sort of like the bar area, but there are little cabanas kind of all around. It really doesn't look like anyone's living here, but they must come in and sort of take care of the place. Whoa, that freaked me out. <laughs> oh, I thought there was someone standing there sort of is just flipping me off what a jackass that's better <laughs> but even all the speakers and stuff left here so I don't know how often the parties are happening but often enough that this place doesn't feel like it's been left and abandoned that's for sure this is an unfortunate result of the party I guess. And the fact that they just burn it on the trash shoreline or maybe it's the beach is sort of clean so maybe this is just all stuff that washes up on the beach. And it's just someone slowly burning it back but that's horrible. Ugh. It's a bummer. It's like a scorch mark on paradise basically. Look at this. That is disgraceful. Yeah, sort of abandoned dish falling apart, but still being occupied. There's some people just sitting there, fishermen's wives or something. So, yes, whatever's happening, it's not being used the way that it should be. But at least it is being used, unlike so many other abandoned places that I keep finding. <laughs> Ew. Yes, well, that was Lost Paradise. Um, it just goes to show that building a resort out on a place like this is just so incredibly difficult and needs to be just done with way more care because there's obviously a place just up here never even got finished being built a bar here that's still clearly being used but just creating monstrous amount of trash that is not being taken care of appropriately and then a resort over there that must have opened and functioned at some point but because of the erosion and the bad access and maybe COVID as well is just going back to waste and you know it'll be habitated until it can no longer be repaired properly and then it'll just be completely fallen into disrepair and this whole place will just be forgotten and left and no one will come in and try and make it look nicer again the way that it should be silly humans Ooh, like this girl has quite a challenge ahead of her to get back up this hill that I've come from and then to see if we can continue to make it to that Eden bar. Because if I can make it there, challenge completed. And if I can't, I'll be probably because I'm stuck somewhere. <laughs> but I'm willing to give it a go.